Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to show you how you can do custom link tracking inside of your chatbot. So if it is important to your business or that of your clients in order to be able to track how many times users click from your chatbot towards their website or specific pages, we can do so pretty easily. So the way to do this is by going and creating a custom event. This custom event will contain all the kinds of web tracking links that you'd like to. So first of all, let's create that custom event. To do so, we can go towards the contents tab. From here, go towards custom events and then say create new event. Let's say this will be link tracking. Right? And the great part is you can just use one event to track any kind of link that you'd like to, right? We will show you how that works inside of the analytics as well, but let's continue for now. So for the parameter name for the text value, let's just implement URL. You can do anything that you like to. And for the parameter name for price and number value, that is not really something that we have to implement. We can do so for the link click, right? So that, that is something that we could do, but I think for now, we will just go with save. Now that we have implemented this new custom event, we can use it inside of our flow. So let's head into the flow itself and let's create a really simple flow here. So let's say we are going with text block and a really simple text block, you can make it as fun and engaging as you like to. This is just for demo purposes. But let's say, press the button below to get all the details of our offer, right? You can also bring in an emoji if you like to. So let's just bring in an emoji with a hand pointing down. And then we have, let's say, get details. In the next step, we are going with an open website step. And then we're going just with a simple HTTPS and then uchat.au. Now I'm also going to copy this website address. And the reason for this is we are going to use this inside the logging of custom events. And let's save. Now, normally this will not track any kind of links, right? If we go back towards the button however we can also say perform additional actions and on these additional actions we can implement an action step on this action step if we're going towards this action step right now we can now log a custom event when a button has been pressed we can do so by going towards events actions then go towards log custom event then press edit action select the event so in this case it's link tracking and now we can just provide the url there we go we can press save and now if we connected a link tracking towards this specific button and again the great part of this link tracking is it's just one custom event where you can basically use it for any kind of link tracking that you like to because in the parameter name for text value we are going to implement the url where the user is going to right and the way this looks like is as following. So if we're going to preview this in web chat, let's do that right now. So we will get the button, right? And let's say we're going to say get details. And now we should go towards the UJet main website, as you can see here. Now, this has been done. Let's go towards the analytics section. So let's go towards custom events. And now we have the link tracking available here. And as you can see, we already have a link tracked, right? If we take a look here, then you will see that we now have this specific link tracked. If we take a look all down below, you will also see the specific URL here. As you can see really really easily we can also create a custom report so if we're going to create a new custom report and you can find that under the tool section you can go towards custom reports and let's say we're going to go with a link tracking custom custom report let's say just funnel report right save 
And now we can go into the specifics. So if we are inside, we can now set up different kinds of link tracking events. So we can go with a funnel step and let's say custom event. Inside this custom event, let's say, instead of custom event, we're going to say, this will be the, basically the UChat main website URL, right? You can say custom event, link tracking, and then filter by text value. There we go. If we say apply and save, and if we go inside the analytics now, go towards custom reports, then we have this new link tracking custom report. And if we say open now, we now have the link tracking, right? So anytime I press this button, so if I go back here and let's say preview again, if we're going to press this button again, then a new link tracking for this specific URL has been triggered. So if we go back towards the analytics again, and we are going back and then reload it, then you will see that we should have two link trackings for this specific link. And again, you can just go and edit your custom report to add in more specific links. So for example, if you want to add another funnel step, right? Let's go with another one. And let's say this custom event goes towards the pricing plan of UChat. So if we go there, so let's go towards UChat and let's say we want to track how many people are going towards the pricing plan, right? If we go towards UChat right now, we can just say we're going with a custom event, then link tracking and then filter by text value. There we go. Apply. And we can now say save. If we go back inside the flow, let's change this URL real quick towards the pricing. Now go and also change the custom event, of course, to include that pricing link. If we're going to preview this flow now and basically press that pricing link value, then we're going to track that specific link as well. So let's say get details, takes a few seconds to redirect. And now we add the pricing. So if we're going to take a look at the analytics again, so let's go towards link tracking custom report. We now have two different ones, as you can see here. We now have uchat.au, two times clicked. And now we also have the uchat pricing clicked once. You can also change the card to this part as you can see here, it's a nice, good overview. You can change the dynamics, of course, any way you like to. But you can use the custom events and custom reports to also take a look how many times a link has been pressed. And the great part is you can compare it inside of one custom report. If you want to just go towards the custom event itself, so if we go towards custom events and we go towards link tracking overview, right, directly here, then you will also see we have three event counts. If we scroll all the way at the bottom, you will also have an overview of all the links that have been pressed by which user. And then you will be able to basically have an overview this way as well. So we hope this short video helped you in understanding how you can perform link tracking inside of your chatbot. Many different kinds of options available in combination with custom events and custom reports to provide a clear overview for your own business, but also that of your clients. If you have any questions, do let us know and we will be happy to help you out, of course. For now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.